today's video we have got a package here and gonna do possibly an upgrade or it could be a downgrade this package is from Galloway Precision I ordered some decals got some extra ones to give away on the uh, Wednesday night live chats and what I ordered was the stainless steel guide rod and spring now this is for the G3 I went with the 15 pounder we're gonna put the strike industries micro comp back on this and see how well it will run with my reloads with this spring in here I can't show you the install but I'm gonna take this spring out off camera we'll compare the two and we'll put this in and we'll take it out to the range and see how it does all right so this is the spring that comes from the factory with the g3 tactical now i don't know i think this is maybe the front's plastic but i do believe the rest of this is metal i know it is back here now this also is the regular spring and then the FDE one that comes with it is for running a suppressor now if we look at this spring this just has the stainless steel rod and one spring over it so let me get this in the uh, slide and we'll take a look at it all right I've got it installed on the slide let me put this back on the frame and we'll see if it functions. All right, I got the slide back on the frame. We've got trigger, reset. That's what it looks like in the front. So from what I can tell, looks like it's gonna be just fine. Pretty smooth. All right, let's get it out to the range, test it out. All right, we're out here at the range. We got the Taurus G3 Tactical. We do have the Strike 80 Micro Comp Quad back on. And we're obviously out here testing the Galloway Precision Captured Guide Rod and Spring. Now this has the 15 pound spring in it. That was the lightest spring available on their website. I'm hoping that this spring will run with the comp. And that's what we're going to do right now. Let's shoot some rounds and see how it does. All right, we got 10 rounds of Winchester white box loaded up. These are 115 grain. Now these were running flawless with this gun. But let's try it with the new guide rod and spring. All right, really good group other than had one go high there. Got a little crazy on the trigger. All right, now here's the test. We got 10 rounds of 124 grain, Barry's bullets, reloads loaded up. Shoot the bottom left target. All right, ran them all. Really good group. Like it. All right, this time we got 10 124 grain Summit City bullets loaded up. Now we have had some issues with polymer coated bullets running in the G3 Tactical. We did go in and polish the feed ramp and everything in another video, but uh, let's see how they run with the new guide rod and spring. All right, ran them all. Did that with the trigger again. I've been out here doing a review with the Walther PDP Pro all day and uh, going from this trigger to that trigger back and forth, kind of messing with me a little bit, but other than that, really good group. All right, let's make sure this wasn't a fluke. I got 10 more rounds 
of the Summit City's loaded up. Let's shoot the top left target. Ran them all. Nice. Nice group. This is how I wanted this G3 Tactical to run. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got a big smile on my face. Uh, my final thoughts. This Galloway Precision stainless steel guide rod and spring with the 15-pound spring. Love it. This is exactly how I wanted this G3 Tactical set up to run, and it's running great. We were having some issues with the polymer-coated Summit City bullets, but we're not having that issue anymore. Now we can run all the factory ammo we want to run in this. We can run all the reloads that I have in it. The only thing I haven't tried is Brass Monkey bullets, but if the Summit Cities will run, they'll run. Let's go over everything that has been done to this G3 Tactical. We did install the Keep Tinkering trigger, which got rid of a lot of that travel, and uh, but it kept the nice reset that the G3 Tactical already had. We do have the Strike Industries Micro Comp Quad on here, and we are running the Phoenix GL19R Lite on this. We also have the ADE Artemis Red Dot on it. I do believe this is now in production. This was a prototype when I got it. But uh, man, I love this setup. It's, uh, it's nice. Runs great with the comp and uh, I couldn't be happier. So if you got a G3 Tactical and you're thinking about doing some upgrades and stuff, I highly recommend everything I did to this. Now, I also want to thank Gene again from reloading from the hot pot. He did send me this trigger, and uh, I absolutely love this trigger. I absolutely love this gun. Uh, it's kind of a more budget-friendly gun. Not so much budget-friendly now after all the money I've dumped into it, but it's running great, and uh, this will actually get into my carry rotation once in a while. And uh, I'm just super happy with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.